update, as you can see, by the bottom shelf behind me. I continue to acquire books. Somehow they just keep appearing. Not sure how. Um, and I am not reading fast enough to keep up with these magically appearing books that just show up on my doorstep occasionally. So that's fun. As of right this second, I am 30.7% of the way to my 2019 overall goal and 53% of the way to my May goal. Almost said March. It's not March anymore. March is long past. I feel like it's been a while <laughs> since I updated anyone about my writing. Um, because what happened <laughs> was that I filmed my reflection video for the previous month of April, and I planned on editing it and posting it that day. Well, that didn't happen for another week, and then I was kind of like, it would be weird if I did two videos like a day apart. So basically what happened was, um, here I am. If I continue to stay on track with the way that things are going right now, I can still get to my May goal. I have a visitor. You're gonna do the hand licking thing. Do you wanna come say hello? You had to wake up right now. Come here. Come up, 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 up. You're not gonna come up here? Oh, you just wanna stretch. You know what would be really cool if you could wait until I was done? <gasps> that would be awesome, but you're just gonna sit? Oh, you're just gonna sit? Oh God, sorry. Where are you? Oh, there she is. There's my girl. Oh, now you're gonna lay down. So they can't see you. <laughs> it's your tail. All right, awesome. Oh God, that's not gonna go back to the same place, is it? I, this past week, took some time off of my day job and freelancing and basically, not completely, but mostly writing in general. Um, I was visiting with uh, someone and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, I don't wanna talk about what this event in my life is, but I will say that something has happened to me recently that has kind of um, reignited my drive for this challenge that I've set for myself. We are five months in. Um, I am behind. Not as behind as I could be, once again, but I'm still behind. I still, out of the four months that I have completed, completed of this challenge, only one of them have I actually reached my goal, and that month I just happened to blow past it, like, majorly. And my dog wants to go outside. This video will be coming to you in multiple parts. What was I talking about? Based on my calculations, which um, I don't always trust my calculations because, you know, math. I can make it this month, which means that I will not have fallen behind anymore than I already am. And next month I might be able to get a little bit ahead. Like I said in my reflection video, I do only want to focus this month on staying on track and getting to 100% of my goal and nothing more than that because reasons. Now my dog is playing with a ball and biting a box. I have an idea. Let's talk about how to get things done when uh, nothing is going the way that you want it to. I thought my dog was going to take a nap this afternoon. <laughs> That's not happening. So I'm making a video anyway. And how am I going to get this video done with the dog not asleep at the moment? I'm just going to keep doing it in parts until it gets done. Is that convenient? Of course not. It, am I completely focused on what I'm doing as I'm listening to whatever she's doing in the other room? Of course not. Is it going to be the best thing that I've ever created or that I could have created under? 
ideal circumstances? Absolutely no! But what matters is that I'm making an attempt anyway. And sometimes, some days, the best you can do is not very good. And that's okay. I'm not gonna be able to do my best today because my dog is insane. That doesn't mean I'm gonna just quit or stop trying. It just means I'm gonna try a different method. It just means it's gonna take me longer to get done what I need to get done. It just means that I'm gonna have to push some things that were on today's to-do list to tomorrow's to-do list. And they're less likely to get done tomorrow than they would have been today. But things change. Plans don't go the way you think they will. Like, never. Sometimes all you have to do is attempt. Because the only thing that makes you not a writer is not writing. So even if you're working on a short story and you're only doing it in pieces and you know it's not your best work but you're kind of fleshing the story out and you're trying to figure out where it's going to go and you're trying and the writing's not great but you know you're just chugging along anyway. That's writing. That counts. Did you hear that? That was my dog going to sleep. See? Now I planned for this not to be able to be done in one take, and now it probably will. So, see what I mean? Things change in an instant, and you have to just roll with it. I should have rolled my chair as I was saying roll with it, because, you know, like, visual puns are awesome. You are a writer if you write things. They don't have to be good things. They don't have to be publishable things, they don't have to be things you're showing to anyone, they don't have to be things you're even planning on trying to get published, they just have to be things. That's one of the most important things that I have learned, relearned, discovered, rediscovered this year so far, is that sometimes I'm just gonna write stuff that I might never publish. Like, that's fine! I'm still writing! I am still using creative energy. I am still doing something. I'm developing my craft. I am refining my skills. This is called practice. If we don't ever practice, if we just do everything perfectly the first time or try to, we're gonna drive ourselves insane! Like my dog! Do what you can do today. I planned on getting a few projects done that are late and sending them off and going to bed feeling great about myself. It's three o'clock. Those projects are not getting done today. They might come close or one of them might get done, but it's not very likely at this point. That's fine. I am making this video because I would rather do it today than tomorrow. And I'm going to write a few more things and those things are going to get done. And if that's all, if I can't cross off everything on my to-do list, it's better than having done nothing. I had a very productive morning. Did I have a productive afternoon? No. But I still got things done. I did what I could. I did my best. So I'm not going to sit around and feel sad about the fact that I didn't get these projects done today. Because I did something still. I just didn't do all the things. You cannot do all the things all the time. You're not a super person. You can't stay up all night every night. You can't sacrifice food and sleep and exercise and people. It's, it's called balance. Even though I'm starting to realize that maybe trying to achieve balance is a bad idea. Because maybe not everything is going to be balanced. All the time. So maybe we all just need to get comfortable with the fact that we're never going to be totally comfortable. Do your best. This week my best was getting to 53% of my goal for the month. I didn't write every day. I didn't meet my goal every day but I did other things that were at the time more important than writing and I'm glad I did those things. I have no regrets Today, I'm not going to get everything done. Also, no regrets because I got to play with my puppy and she's so cute. As you saw. Unless the footage got deleted because, you know, 
life happens. If today your best is like taking a shower and that's it, cool, do that and you're good. If your best is like writing 5,000 words, do it. <laughs> Don't get down on yourself for not checking off everything. Because you never will. There's always going to be more things. Every time I check something off my list, I could come up with like three more things I want to add to it. Such is life. Such is the life of a creative person who always has ideas for new things or remembers that she needs to get more shampoo. You don't care. I'm just, it was an example. What did you get done today? Better yet, what did you not get done today? And how do you feel about that? Let me know. And also, get back to writing. I really miss saying that. I should say it more often. Get back to writing. It's from a podcast that doesn't exist anymore. You don't understand that reference. That's, you know what? It's just for me. Sometimes things just have to be just for me.